Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. I'm going to do a little barn buddy for you on Creative Studio version 7, and I'm going to call it Seven Marks the Spot. And I want to talk to you about these little markers that you see in this pattern because this is a pattern. I created it with the draw text. And you see all of these little teal colored markers right here? Those are the markers that indicate that there is a jump stitch in Creative Studio version 7 that each one of these letters is going to quilt out individually. If you scroll in really close, you'll see there is no connection between any of these letters. So if I select it and I do F7 or I left click on nodes on my tool strip, those blue lines right there indicate where the jump stitch is. You can always tell that whenever you see a straight blue line that shoots from one pattern to another pattern. Sometimes this gets us in trouble a little bit whenever we're doing an edge to edge because we think that the pattern will sew continuously and it will not. If I escape from that and if you look over here on the pattern list, you see some other markers. There's a green one right here. That's your start marker. Green means go and the red marker is your stop marker. So that is your ending marker. If I pull that pattern onto the screen, you can see that the green is going to stitch because it starts there and then the red is going to end. That makes it really easy for us to tell which patterns are a point to point and which patterns are not. Because remember, a point to point has to start on the left and end on the right. If there is a green and red marker combined, that means that that pattern travels over and then back again. So this pattern would not sew continuously. It's not intended to sew continuously the way it was designed. You see that little marker right there that's green and red together? So let me go back and choose this pattern right here and I am going to do edge to edge and you notice there is no edge to edge icon on my tool strip so I'm going to go up to features and I'm going to left click on edge to edge and I can either click this out with my mouse or I can do it with the machine head so I'm going to click it out and I'm going to enter my length because that's the first thing that I need to do and hit enter. It says that pattern is not intended to be used for end of set. Do I want to click yes to change to place two pins? And I'm going to say yes. And Creative Studio puts that pattern on the screen. You see that they are overlapping. So this is a little edge to edge lesson. They're overlapping because this little check mark right here is checked in connect over here on the right side in the setup. So I'm going to uncheck that and it's going to separate it. But you see these green marks? It's a pretty pattern. It's a really pretty pattern. It's one of the 1290 that come with your machine and it's a pretty pattern, but it is going to stop and tie off on every single one of those patterns. So if you can live with that, then that's fine. Creative Studio is not going to warn you about that. Let me change to this pattern. Creative Studio is going to dynamically change them on the screen. And now this shows me that there are no green markers in this top row. So this pattern will sew continuously. It's going to start here. The only green marker you see is at the end of the line. So that tells me that it's going to sew without stopping until it gets to the end of the line. I'm going to say OK, because if those markers bother you, you can select one of them, go all the way down here to options, and those are your options. You can show start and end and next, or you can show the start and end, or you can show 
in the markers or you can show the jumps which is the teal colors or I can left click on show none and Creative Studio takes them all away and I don't have any idea now where this pattern starts and stops. So that's really going to be a help for you whenever you are sewing something or setting up something because you're going to know immediately that, hey, this thing is not going to sew out continuously and it's going to take me just a little bit longer to quilt this pattern. So in version 7, I'm choosing to leave mine on right now so I get that warning and I have a visual reference whether this pattern is going to sew or not. I hope that makes it just a little bit clearer for you. Thank you.